Honestly, when I was, when it's I was stupid. vlogging my salad, that's exactly when we were in the middle of an argument. I said, FYI. don't film me. <laughs> I will go get the help now. Good morning! Bright and early on the road. We're attending an event in downtown. When the littles woke us up at 7.30, Ben she's like, we gotta be out of here in 20 minutes. No bigs though, cause we've got carpooling. And a view of downtown. Benji and I are double dipping and we're making this a little, I guess like date day. So we're gonna go to lunch. I, I was just curious, should you give your wife options or should you just pick? You're down for whatever? Okay. As long as it's good. But the tone, you gotta listen to the tone. I mean, she said it, as long as it's good. So then since you said that. Maybe not sushi. Okay, oh, I like this. Okay, okay. let's. Let's take away the things you're not feeling. Yeah. Anything else that um, you're not feeling? Maybe not American. Okay. Maybe more like Indian or Italian. Okay. Uh, not seafood. Okay. So yeah, so, American or Indian. Or Italian. Or Italian. What about French? All right. okay. French with a view? I don't, I'm not familiar with French food. Ratatouille? No, I mean, well, they got like steak and fries. Yeah, of course, they, they're gonna have like a baguette there. No French? Sounds good. The reason I suggested French food is because there's a view. We're near Pike Place, and this place happens to be open. Okay. Uh, but if you say Italian, there's probably a lot of good Italian too. Yeah, there's that really nice spot that we ate at last time. It's right next to the gum wall. Remember? That's down. There's it's no view though. There's no view, in fact, it's very dark and intimate. Is that what you want? A few moments later. Uh, hey. <laughs> we were gonna go to Serious Pie, and then afterwards, Judy said, oh, let's go to Italian, because she saw that Asagio place. Yeah, but I think that place is closed. And so, see, this is what a husband has to do. It's called the pink door. It's just a pink door. That's their sign. Oh. Oh. It, it was like a late night food crawl. Yeah. We came here and, and we ate in a- there in the corner while in the there corner. Was Yeah, exactly. Aww. So I got the, um, some kind of celery cocktail. Judy got wine. It's called Celery Made Me Do It. Oh yeah, Celery Made Me Do It. All right, <laughs> cheers. Somebody got in from the inside. So maybe it was somebody that 
actually went lived in the apartment we had our window open broke through the screen in our living room and they stole my friend's boyfriend's Super Nintendo which like really sucks because I think I think that's the best Nintendo console out there. Five of their games, they stole a bunch of my DVDs. Some of them were rentals, so I had to pay for that. Oh my gosh, I think they stole our other roommate's laptop. Fortunate for me, I moved most of my stuff out, so I think the most that was stolen from me were DVDs. It's sad that that's one of my memories from that apartment. That and uh, it being infested with fleas because my girlfriend had a cat. She wasn't always there every day, so then that cat ended up getting fleas. And I remember, oh, this is gross. I remember being in class and seeing a flea jump off of me onto my desk during class. We had to bomb the entire apartment. So we were gone for an entire weekend for that. Man, she bought me um, a whole case of Smirnoff ice too and I thought it was so cool drinking Smirnoff ice. <laughs> oh, the memories. All right, we brought back snacks from the lounge, the popcorn and the granola. <laughs> I'm able to crop her out, so I just removed like the background basically because there's. Wait, why is it When we were in Seattle, we met this couple and they had their two little boys. One of the first things the dad said was, I saw you guys just travel to the Philippines and we did last year and it was so hard with the kids. What did they say, honey? He said, said you guys make it look easy. It was not easy by any means. Of course, it was nice we had Mel there as well. She always travels with us whenever we travel with the kids. But I just, I have to reiterate this, and I've, I've mentioned this before. It may seem like life is easy or, you know, or that we're super patient and calm around our kids. Obviously, I'm not going to pick up the camera while I'm disciplining the kids or we're having like a chaotic moment. Sometimes you see bits and pieces of chaos, even at dinner time. Like, it's never a chill moment, especially on the airplane whenever I hear like babies crying my heart always goes out to the parents because I know that feeling of stress and anxiety the worry you have of disturbing your neighbors and stuff if you're if that person is disturbed oh my gosh they probably don't have kids and don't get it but I feel like in general most people do what do you have to say about that honey I think that it's important for people to understand we show parts of our life that we want to remember first off secondly we also know that when things are really tough especially if one of the girls are screaming their head off or me and Judy is fighting we just don't want to document that not because we're trying to hide it by the way, that's not why we're doing this. We're not like outing ourselves. I was just, I was so flattered by the comment today, but I, I felt it's important that people understand that there's other sides of our life that we just don't document because that wasn't the purpose of this channel in the first place. And that includes when it's crazy tough for us, when it's difficult as parents and as a husband and wife, and I, I think we do a pretty good job with the commentary about it. Yeah. But for the most part, I can see why. And today just kind of uh, reaffirmed it. Why someone would come up to us, me and us say, man, you guys make it look easy. And though we love to accept compliments, I just felt, you know, let's just talk about some of the things that people don't see, especially when it comes to parenting. Because I think it would be good for other parents to know that they're going through an experience that we have gone through now. I mean, five girls. And that's okay for life to suck as a parent because that's the reality. And just because you don't see every little part of that um, side of our parenting experience doesn't mean we don't experience the same thing too. Absolutely. And we're just, we're just getting through life just like anybody else. 
But uh, yeah, I, I, I love that we share a life and that we talk about our experiences as parents but by no means are we <laughs> gurus. Shout out to that sweet family though. They had two young boys that were around the age of Leah and Bella. Uh, the older son was older than Leah. But what a coincidence, their youngest son has exact same birthday as Bella. So they are little pandemic babies. Yeah, and speaking of you know what we don't share obviously you only see 10 to 15 minutes of the vlog and there's so much that you don't see i mean we started we started vlogging before we even had kids and thanks to everybody that has followed us all these years i mean if you've been following throughout the years you've seen how much our life has changed speaking of like benji and i we got into an argument earlier today over stupid shit Honestly, when I was, when it's I was stupid. vlogging my salad, that's exactly when we were in the middle of an argument. I said, FYI. don't film me. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't fight, is it even a relationship? I don't know. We're going to end our night again here with, what's his name, Ollie. Uh, tomorrow's going to be an exciting day because I'm going to be chaperoning at the girls' field trip. We're going to watch... We're gonna go to like a salmon farm. I think that's what it is. So that'll be fun to see and I'll vlog a little bit over there. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Night night. Good night. Good night.